Hello everyone, I'm Chris Eric Lane. Welcome to your Thursday edition of the PE Crime Blotter. 21-year-old Kyle McLean of Marietta has been charged with the murder of his 71-year-old grandmother, Catherine Sutton. He was in court on Wednesday. We understand court records were released that gave a great detail to the police investigation. I'm joined now by Press Enterprises' Sarah Burge. Sarah, what did we learn from those court records? The police hadn't said much about the case. Um, they told us uh, essentially that it had started out as a missing persons case and quickly turned into a homicide investigation. Um, even though they hadn't uh, found Catherine Sutton's remains, they said that they believed she had been uh, killed by her grandson, Kyle McLean. Um, but they didn't want to give any details about what evidence they'd found. Um, Yesterday, we got a, a court document in which an investigator laid out the, uh, the evidence they had collected so far. Um, in essence, it sounds like uh, an 18-year-old friend of McLean's spoke with investigators. Um, McLean had apparently told him that he killed his grandmother. This is according to the friend. And uh, the friend said he saw a body in the trunk of the car that McLean was driving and that McLean was um, at a loss about what to do with the remains. Um, also, this friend apparently went to, to uh, Walmart in Murrieta with McLean. Uh, this would have been, I guess, last Friday. And they bought machetes, gloves, bleach, and beer. This is according to the court document. And apparently they were also captured on surveillance video. Um, that's just some of the details in there. Now, Sarah, what tipped off police to lead them to believe that Sutton's disappearance was part of foul play? The homicide investigator also wrote in the document that um, basically when the uh, initial responding officers uh, went out to Catherine Sutton's house to in investigate the missing persons report, um, they noticed that the house smelled of bleach. There were fans running inside. It looked like it had been recently cleaned. Um, uh, and once after the case had transitioned into a homicide investigation um, and forensic uh, technicians uh, were doing their work there, they found um, blood smears in the house and uh, signs of blood throughout that, uh, that uh, someone had tried to clean up. And police have been very tight-lipped about the location of uh, where they're searching for Sutton. What have they said now? They've charged him with the murder, but they haven't confirmed her death. Uh, the last I heard, police were still searching for Catherine Sutton's remains. Uh, they've declined to say where specifically they're searching. All right, Sarah, thank you for joining us. That does it for your Thursday edition of the P.E. Crime Water. Be sure to stay tuned right here on P.E.com for the latest on this story.